What is a hypothesis? The establishment lives with irreconcilable definitions of the word hypothesis. The American Heritage Dictionary defines the term scientific method as the principles and empirical processes of discovery and demonstration considered characteristic of or necessary for scientific investigation, generally involving the observation of phenomena, the formulation of a hypothesis concerning the phenomena, experimentation to demonstrate the truth or falseness of the hypothesis, and a conclusion that validates or modifies the hypothesis. Most, if not all, people who regard themselves to be scientists will more or less agree with this definition. In general, this standard consists of four or five steps. Observation, hypothesis, prediction, experimentation, analysis. These definitions would seem to be okay, except that they contain the mysterious word hypothesis. What does it mean? I ask this because, by merely browsing the internet, you will discover that people hold widely different opinions with respect to this enigmatic word. So let's look at the available definitions. 1. An objective or purpose, an investigative proposal or question. Will students who attended at least two years of Montessori preschool have better reading comprehension abilities at the end of the first grade than those students who did not attend preschool at all? 2. A prediction or testable statement. At the end of the first grade, there will be a difference between the reading comprehensions of children who attended Montessori preschool and children who did not attend preschool at all. When a hypothesis fails to give correct results, it is revised or rejected and replaced. Except in mathematical physics, for example, when Einstein's relativity failed to describe the galactic rotation problem, the idiots of mathematics did not reject relativity. They simply invented something ad hoc called dark matter. Likewise, when the idiots of mathematics could not explain light with either the wave or the corpuscular models, they did not reject quantum mechanics. They blended the two and called the result a wave packet. But I digress. Back to the definitions. Or three, an assumption or guess. Something taken for granted or accepted as true without proof, an assumption. Or is a hypothesis for an explanation. This hypothesis explains the isomorphism between the structure of experience and neural organization. Five. A theory. Any physical theory is always provincial in the sense that it is only a hypothesis. Or six. Is it data analysis? So, what should we conclude about the hypothesis? Is the prosecutor making a prediction? Proposing a challenge? Making an assumption? or offering an explanation. Is a prediction the same as an assumption? Is an assumption the same as an explanation? Of course, with such an all-encompassing definition, it is not surprising that the contemporary scientists cannot tell you whether creationism is scientific or whether evolution is just a theory. The morons of the establishment have embodied so many irreconcilable notions in what they call the hypothesis that this step of the scientific method has lost all meaning. In order to use the strategic word hypothesis in a scientific setting, in other words, consistently, it cannot continue to be so broad, malleable, and self-serving.